All right, hello everybody. So this next video is going to cover calculating day supply. So in addition to unit conversions and temperature conversions, calculating your day supply is probably the most common type of math you're gonna be doing in a pharmacy setting, especially a retail setting. So I wanted to show you how we're going to do this, okay? I know there's a little bit of a glare there, but that says a 14 day supply. So Rx means what has been ordered. This is what the doctor has ordered. He has ordered amoxicillin 500 milligrams POBID. This is why you must know your, your SIG codes, okay? So by mouth twice a day. So they're taking 500 milligrams twice a day. Pharmacy stock, that represents what you have in your hand, in your store to dispense to your patients. We have amoxicillin 500 milligram capsules. So these two match here. So it's one twice a day, okay? How many capsules will be dispensed for a 14 day supply? So they're taking uh, two capsules a day times 14. We need to dispense 28 capsules. Okay. The next one, a little bit tri trickier, that says a seven day supply. So Zofran, the doctor's ordered eight milligrams of Zofran every six hours. In stock, you have eight milligram tablets. How many will you dispense for a seven day supply? So the first thing you have to look at is here, okay? So in a 24 hour period, every six hours is four times a day. If you did every eight hours, that would be three times a day. Okay, so we're going to take eight milligrams every six hours. So they can have four a day based off of the 24 hour period. So four times seven because it's a seven day supply. Okay, so again, breaking it down, 24 hours divided by six for every six hours the patient can take the medication four times a day. So we're going to take four times seven and we get a 28 day, or 28, excuse me, tablets to dispense, okay? So you really have to know your SIG codes. Use your SIG code chart when you're completing these assignments, okay? So let's do a little tricky one here. All right, so this is where some of the trickiness comes into place and I want you to pay close attention, okay? So again, here Rx is what's been ordered. So Trazodone 100 milligrams POBID, so by mouth twice a day. In pharmacy stock, I only have 50 milligram tablets. So what does that mean for the patient? They're gonna have to take two to get a 100 milligram dose, okay? So they're gonna end up taking two tabs per dose. Then they're taking it twice a day. So two times two is a total of four per day. So they're taking a total of four, Ooh, that didn't come out very dark. Let me rewrite it for you. So they're taking 
two tablets per dose to make the 100 milligrams. Two, twice a day, is four tabs per day. Now we're going to take four times 30, because they're taking a total of four tablets for 30 days, and that should be 120 tablets that we dispense. Okay? So it's very important that you're paying attention to how this is set up. You're going to be given the prescription that was ordered. You are going to be given the pharmacy stock. This is what you're paying close attention to. Do these match? If not, how many do they have to take of what you're giving them to make and be equivalent to what that's been ordered? And then how many times a day, okay? 100 milligrams by mouth twice a day. We have 50 milligrams in stock, which means they are taking two tablets per dose to get the 100 milligrams. Two times two, because they're taking it twice a day, is a total of four tablets a day. Four times 30 for the 30-day supply, we're going to dispense a total of 120 tablets. Okay, so if you have any questions on this, again, be sure you call me or send me an email. Um, they're pretty straightforward. Just really pay attention um, so you're calculating the correct day supply. Have a good day.